So I gotta hit a. Uh, I didn't realize I was gonna end up uh, doing the video. I'll just make this part two. This will be. Uh, this will be uh, real short. I'll just get you know the last. <laughs> Get the last scripture. You know, basically, you know, this video, a lot of our people don't have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's why when he sends his son down in Yahweh Shai, when he, uh, he returns, he's going to destroy a lot, of, uh, a lot of our people. A lot of our people, they don't want to believe. They don't want to acknowledge. They don't want to wake up. Oh, and you know what? Uh, and then let me get the scripture. And because of that, a lot of uh, a lot of you Israelites, you're not gonna be blameless. <laughs> Brothers, know what uh, scripture I'm going to. Where is it? Let me see. Stop. John, yep. This is John chapter uh, 15, verse. Uh, I'm gonna start at uh, 21. It says, uh, "But all these things they." But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake. Are right, speaking about persecuting the prophets, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not sinned. But now they have no cloak for their sin. Con, but hey, yeah. You Israelites, you're not guilty, alright? Because one way or another, you you know you know about Israel. You know about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. An Israelite either works at your job. Or I'll say a prophet may work at your job. You may have a cousin that's a prophet. You might have went past something on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook and you niggas chose to ignore it. Just like you chose to ignore it back then. Why? Because you don't truly believe. Because you want to be, what, idolaters. You want to be uh, uh, so wicked that you're not trying to hear that. You don't want that to condemn you. Oh, no, man. I'm, I'm trying to live my life. I'm trying to live my life. I'm trying to live my, live my best life. All right? All up in the all, all up in the worst parts of the city, you're trying to live what you think is your life, all right. And that thing which you trying to hold on to and cherish, cherish so much, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gonna take it from you and destroy you, all right. And you know what? Let me get a uh, let me get this and uh, Peter. Man, I was sitting there, I was just listening. It was like a whole two hour, uh, two hour debate. And then they, I was just sitting there listening. And I didn't say a single word, I was just sitting there listening, just shaking my head, man. Our people are absolutely, they're, they're no longer. Another one just came to mind in Jeremiah. So I might have to grab that. So like, uh, no, it's right there somewhere. This, where is that? Where is that? First Peter, that's why. Uh, First Peter. Where are we at? Okay, First Peter, uh, chapter four, verse uh, seventeen. I'm just be reading. The, uh, I'll show. I'm just read it. it. Says, "For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Israel, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High Power?" All right, and that's plain and simple. All right, it's going to begin, uh, you know, at Israel, you know, and, you know, ultimately judgment is going to come down upon this whole world. But what's going to happen to you people that don't believe? All right. Not 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 even including the heathens. What's going to happen to you Israelites that don't believe? Judgment is going to happen unto the elect, to the one third. They're, they're going to have to be tried to have their uh, faith proven. All right. So what's going to happen to you niggas? You talking about, oh, fuck that nigga. Oh, I'm, I'm going to do me. Y'all are going to get you're going to get uh, 
you going you gonna drink it you going drink the rest of your cup all right you've been drinking the cup living in your raggedy neighborhood your baby mama giving you hell you got shot at five times and the Lord gonna give you that last tip of the cup to kill you off with all right many of you wicked ass Israelites here it is we're supposed to be the most spiritual people on the planet and many of you Israelites have given that up to chase uh, fucking pipe dreams all right here in America whatever whatever other country that you live in to be a, a fucking rapper or actor or entrepreneur or some bullshit and you're supposed to be getting right uh, with their power all right and let me uh, I'm gonna finish this Let's get this on deck but this is our uh, first Peter 4 and 18 now it says and if the righteous scarcely be saved where shall the ungodly and sinner appear all right and that's plain and simple if the elect or uh, scarcely saved. What, uh. Come on, Jay, move. So, like, I'm. The way I'm positioned, I can. <laughs> man, Jake is simple, man. If I turn the camera around, you'll see evidence of that I'm simplicity. But a lot of you Israelites, man, y'all not gonna make it, man. If the righteous are gonna have to catch up, what's gonna happen to you niggas? smoking blunts what's gonna happen to you scoffers what's gonna happen to you niggas that uh niggas like Alvin Johnson I just can't see us being the Israelites what do you think is gonna happen to you niggas if the righteous make it by the hair on their chinny chin chin and by the skin of their of their teeth you niggas is gonna get blown out of fucking proportion all right now this is uh this is Jeremiah 7 uh 7 to 25, it says, uh, Since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt, unto this day have I sent unto you all my servants the prophets, daily rising up early and sending them, yet they hearkened not unto me, nor inclined their ear, but hardened their neck. Uh, they did they did worse than their fathers. And that's you Israelites, man. You niggas today is, oh, this this is the worst current generation. And if it kept going, it would even, get even more abominable. All right. But the Lord's not going to have it be so. We're at the end here. All right. We are at, and you Israelites that you, you wanted to, you've been wicked all your incarnations. You're going to have to carry that shame. All right. In the kingdom. You Israelites right now who kid you just can't see us being Israelites. You're going to have to carry that shame. All right. So with that, I'm going to give all praises to you. Howl by Shemel Shabba, Shemel Kakodash, the to the apostles, and those great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all like Aki, Wahwati, and teaching the truth and sincerity. That I'm going to say, show off.